we need to know the structural differences and reasons behind them between the arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and except for the pulmonary artery it is always oxygenated blood. The blood just leaving the heart is always at a higher pressure as it is closer to the pumping action of the heart. This means the structure of the arteries must cope with the great changes in blood pressure. Arteries have a tough outer coat and thicker wall compared to the veins and capillaries and they generally contain the thickest layer of smooth muscle. The layer of smooth muscle is very elastic so it can increase in volume as the ventricles contract and eject blood into the arteries at a high pressure. When the ventricles relax in between contracting as they fill with blood, the elastic smooth muscle can spring back in the arteries, reduce the volume of the lumen and maintain a high blood pressure to keep the blood moving. The inner wall of the artery is called the endothelium and helps to keep blood flowing and it can release substances into the blood to regulate how fluid the blood is and much, much more. The actual passageway through the artery is called the lumen. In arteries, the lumen is relatively smaller compared to what we see in veins. And the reason why the lumen is small in the artery is so it can maintain the pressure. Veins share many of the same features as the artery, but with some key differences. They carry blood back to the heart. And except for the pulmonary vein, it is always deoxygenated. In general, veins contain blood that is at a lower pressure and their structure reflects that. The wall thickness is thinner because the pressure is lower. The muscle layer is thinner compared to arteries and the lumen is generally larger than what you see in arteries to help keep the blood flowing. The veins also contain valves to reduce backflow. For example, in your legs, the veins need to get blood to travel against gravity and back to the heart all this with a much lower pressure so the valves help to keep blood flowing back to the heart. Muscle contraction in the legs also helps to keep blood moving by applying pressure to the veins and squeezing the blood upwards. The capillaries are the junction between arteries and veins. They have a very small lumen and the wall is made of only one layer of endothelium so only one cell thick. This is to reduce the diffusion distance between the blood, the cells and the tissues. Capillaries form an extensive network through the organs and tissues and this ensures that cells are always near a capillary so they can receive substances via diffusion or remove substances into the blood via diffusion. In the next lesson we will look at cardiovascular disease.